good afternoon. We are kind of going to the lunch break after this. So I'm going to hold you up, but then this is the best time to hold up, to hear to our rock star today. So officially, this was called uh, Coffee with Deepa. Uh, I'm like, okay. How many of you like Coffee with Karen? Just give a hoo-hoo. Okay. How many of you like Coffee with Didi? Okay, not bad. Uh, I love coffee with Subbu. Subbu is my dad. I really love his coffee time. <laughs> and uh, this is coffee with Deepa and my bestest yeah. host, Prashant. It's wonderful to host a friend, an uh, inspirational person, and someone who's going to share about himself today on this very powerful stage. So, Prashant, how are you feeling? Oh. <laughs> so Prashant, so from being a participant of India Inclusion Summit, I have seen you every year participating yeah. really in the front row. How does it feel uh, now to be a speaker on stage? <laughs> Prashant. Oh. I know Prashant, oh. Prashant is like excited. Oh. He's like totally excited. So Ashwini, Prashant's brother, uh, sister. Now Ashwini, I know it would have been a very different experience and a great experience to be a sibling and you must have shared great moments with Prashant. So do you want to share your uh, childhood days? Being the sibling of a specially abled person changes not just you or the person, but the entire family. It, it was, uh, childhood for me was uh, interesting. It was challenging. It was sometimes confusing because I couldn't understand a lot of things. It was overwhelming at times and it got lonely quite a lot. And uh, I'm sure most of you who are siblings here would be able to relate to that. Now, but I can say one thing, that it was really rewarding to have him as my brother. I've learned what the real things in life that matter are. I've learned to actually rejoice for small achievements, you know. Probably there was a time when uh, he just finished his Rubik's Cube and I was more ecstatic than him. There are times when, uh, you know, he was a child, he couldn't sit. So the moment he sat, without support for the first time. I jumped with joy. This is something a sibling can relate to. You know? <laughs> and there are a lot of things I've learned from him and from my parents. I have learned what is patience, what is unselfish, absolutely selfless love. I have learned what heartache can be. You know, that is something you learn from your parents. Coincidentally, today is the day that we lost our father. This was 15 years ago. Makes me think he would have been really proud of him today, seeing him on stage. <laughs> and from him, I have learned resilience. And I won't be wrong if I say that he is the reason for my wicked sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> There's this one instance, you know, maybe I'll, I'll share a small secret with you, Deepa. Mm -hmm. uh, as a child, maybe in fourth, fifth standard, I used to really listen to my friends with fascination when they used to tell, you know, I had a fight with my brother. I pulled his hair and I bit him and all that. And 
I used to wonder, why don't I have that kind of a relationship with my brother? Fact is, till date, we as siblings have never fought. I know some of you might find it difficult to believe. I see my own children fighting tooth and nail every day. And this is something, uh, it's a fact. And one day we both decided, we said we have to have a fight. So we actually, you know, we kind of uh, chalked out a timetable. Sunday, Barabaje, exactly at 12 o'clock, we ought to have a fight. Sundays came and went, and it's still not materialized, you know. <laughs> so, so this is something I just wanted to share. <laughs> Very nice. After 40. Oh, yeah, yeah, For, 44 years, and we still haven't fought. <laughs> I think that, <laughs> that really... <laughs> That's wonderful. I always fight with my siblings, really, for everything. <laughs> so, Prashant, so you did your schooling majorly in SSK and SIES. So, which is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> it's like asking a mother to choose between a token. Oh. Oh. Okay. What? It is give me a me to plan. It is correct. Enabled me to sleep big and rich for the skies without the either of them I wouldn't be here. Awesome. So Prashant, you know always uh, India inclusion surpri uh, uh, surprises everyone, right? Yeah. So we have a surprise video for you from Prashant's teacher, a lovely message from the teacher, and let's have a look at the video, yeah? Yeah. Hi, Prashant. Prashant Kamat. Remember your classroom as teacher and student? I remember you coming in as a very cute little baby to SSK and from there your journey started doing lots of physiotherapy, speech therapy and our long dialogues on why therapy is important for you and why you should not spend too much time in the therapy room and have more therapy functionally. Remember those dialogues and from there you came with a mind of your own, intelligent, uh, wicked sense of humor, always caught me on the wrong foot, laughed and made everyone laugh in the classroom. <laughs> also, very optimistic, how optimistic you were, despite all your difficulties in writing, in reading, in uh, speaking, but you never said, I will give up. You always were optimistic that you will succeed in life. And that's what I see you today. Such a big success. I'm so proud of you. Your need to know more information, gain more knowledge, and that kept you going in school. And we were so happy when you completed your 10th uh, grade exam with such great marks. We were all so proud of you, Prashan. If I ever have to give you a message, I want to tell you that you've been such a success in life and I only wish that you can reach out to more people like you who need you, who need your experience to create more Prashans who are more positive, who are more optimistic, Despite their disability, they want to succeed. I wish you all the best. And God be with you. Ciao. It gives me goosebumps to listen to the teacher. 
and uh, to Prashant from SSK and his schooling. Today, Prashant works with Mindtree for 10 years now. Woo! A decade. So, let's quickly even have a look what Prashant rocks in his workplace, yeah? Are you all up to it? Yes? Okay, let's play the video. It reminds me of, of a quote that says, every, uh, every small thing lie a strength within. Every smaller thing, step by step, right? So Prashant, do you want to share more about Mindtree and about your work? Yeah. happens reverse in coffee with Deepa. I'm supposed to gift my guest. Okay, thank you. Yes, you can leave it on the table. I can take it later. Okay. Oops. Okay. Thank you so much, Prashant. Yay! <laughs> okay. Isn't it wonderful to get a gift from your guest? Right. 
So just last question, Prashant. I want to ask, what is that you want to leave for all of us here? What is that you want to say for us? Life. Tell it. sibling with a rock star like this, always you get to speak less. But then I know you had a small tiny poem that you want to say. Do you want to go ahead and say that? There's a beautiful poem. There's a beautiful poem I just wanted to read out to all of you. It's written by April Vernon. I don't know if many of you have read it. They say that I have special needs and while that's partly true, the needs that matter most to me are the same ones you have too. I need to be accepted. I need friends that make me smile. I need a chance to learn and grow, feeling valued all the while. Sure, I need some extra help and sometimes some things I cannot do. But I hope you'll see beyond all that. Inside, I'm just like you. That is wonderful. Like Shanti always says, I see you in me, right? Thank you so much. It was wonderful. And another one question now I have. So, who likes coffee with Karan? <laughs> okay. <laughs> who likes coffee with uh, Didi? Okay, who likes coffee with Deepa now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so Didi, much. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> for uh, Ashwini, for Deepa and Prashant. I would like to add something that we feel that the celebrities, what we see or watch in the movies, they are the celebrities for two hours of that duration of the movies, but Prashant life person, the real life celebrities. So they are celebrating life in each and every moment. So please, uh, I would like to uh, call Prashant for the signature. Uh, in this uh, board and also would like to invite uh, Senator Tom sir to present a small token of love memento to Prashant. Please welcome sir in the stage. Yes sir. Prashant please come on the signature board first then for the memento. Please come Prashant. And maybe Ashwini can help her to him to pray. Yes. Yeah. So Prashant you have to sign the board there. Yes, Yay. this is the strong bond of inclusion summit. The bond of two hands are helping to us to grow more stronger. 
Yes, you're supposed to give a gift. One more donate. round of applause, please, for the Prashant and Thompson. <laughs> Thank you. I have a friend of mine in the United States who has cerebral palsy. And can I have, can we have a mic for Tom, sir, please? He could do anything until he was like 18 years old. He was struck away. Finally, he figured people figured out he was smart. And now, yeah. and he's one of the best writers I know today. Yeah. Bob Williams, wonderful person. He's like you, he's a writer, but he yeah. can't write. But he uses the board and he uses voice to text. Yeah. And he writes and he's beautiful. He, wow. just, he uses his two fingers to type. Huh? And Prashant is an amazing yeah. writer as well. Yeah. 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 Writes a lot. Right, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yay! That's the moment of the day, the winner. <laughs>